Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out a full face of Primark new-ish, new in makeup. As you can see I've already got my brows done just because I don't have a Primark eyebrow pencil and I don't remember whether I looked for it in store or whether they just didn't have one but yeah let's jump straight into the video. I don't have a primer but I'm going to be using an affordable one and it is the Glass Skin Primer by Revolution. I'm just going to quickly throw this onto my face. I don't really remember if I've used this on, I don't think I've used this on camera. I think I might have used this once or twice, like, in my own time. So that is the primer applied. Next we're going to jump in with the foundation. I have actually had this for a while and I do really like it so I can definitely say this is a good foundation. It's £5. It is the double coverage matte foundation which looks like this and I've gone for cool sand. The only thing I don't like is it does leak. Um, as you can see like around the bottle is not the best so let's try and get some out. Go into this with a brush. This is the Morphe, it looks like this, I've rubbed out the lettering. It's like a, like a, what do you call it, quite a compact brush, but it does apply a really good amount onto your face. And then next, I also don't have a concealer, so I'm just going to go in with another cheapie, which I do really like. It is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. And just blending it out with the same Morphe brush. And I'm just going to set this with the Revolution Lace Powder. And again, I love, I liked this powder. I did use it in a video a while back, and I do really like the powder. But again, I just hate the component that it's in. I wish it's like the RCMA one, like it's such a good powder, but I just wish they had better packaging for it. So I'm going to go and test this new Sunset Beach palette, which was £6, which looks like this on the outside. And then this one looks like this on the inside. If I can take there's no like names for the palette, um, but they're on here, so I'll just be reading it off this. And then as I said, I did buy, if you watched my haul, I did buy these for £4, which is the Essential Eye Brush Set, so we're just going to use these. So I'm going to go into this big fluffy brush and into the shade. Um, I'm going to go into beach sunset which is like this bright orange just there i do not know what look we're creating oh the pigment from how i've used it so far is good and then i think i'm going to go into this smaller fluffy brush And then I'm going to go into like the deeper red shade, which I think is Red Skies, which is this one there. To be honest, the pigment is really good. I have no issue with the pigment. It blends out really good. Just these brushes are really thin and I feel like I'm like playing with like a doll's makeup set that you got when you were kids. So I'm just putting this in the outer V. And then I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I used just to blend the two colours together. So the, to be honest, they blend out really nice. I have no issue with the pigment. The pigment is perfect. It it looks amazing, to be honest. I really, really like the coverage. It wasn't patchy, it was easy to blend out. So the next thing I'm going to go into is like this small little brush here. And I'm just going to apply, what is the shade name? Coconut Husk, which is like this light champagne gold. I'm going to try this without any like setting spray or fixing spray first, just to see how it applies. 
You know what? That is a really good shimmer. I am really impressed with this palette. Like really impressed. pigment on it is really good you know what for six pounds I am not complaining at all I think that's such an easy like I think this shimmer is even nicer than like the revolution ones and I love Revolution. I think next time I will just use my own brushes that I know work just because these brushes are really thin. Um, so I feel like I'm going to break it and like I'm not getting a good enough hold. But yeah, this is the first eye done. So Hi, so I'm back. I've done the other eye and I just realised that I said I was going to go off and do my lashes. But I actually bought... Um, this Wonder Lash Lash Definition Mascara um, so I think we're just going to use this instead to test it out it was three, three pounds I had to go and grab I had to go and ask my boyfriend to open it up because my hands like I don't know it was tight and I just couldn't open it so yeah let's just apply the mascara and see how it goes I love this mascara like I'm genuinely shocked it's such a good mascara. Wow. I'm not annoyed at that for three pounds. It really like lengthened and thickened up my lashes. So I'm really, I'm impressed. So I'm going to go in with a bronzer and I've heard a lot of people speak about this. I think Makeup with Alex Kate, she spoke about, not her specifically, but in the group, the her Patreon group, they spoke about this. And it is the PS Bronze Whip. It's meant to be a dupe for the Chanel Soleil bronzer, which is very expensive. So this was £4, and if it comes out with a similar effect, I am not annoyed, because that will save me a lot of money repurchasing another one, um, the Chanel one. So I'm just going to go into this with my NYX stippling brush. I really need to get a new one of, the, uh, of this, because it keeps, like, it smells really good. Smells like um, like coconuts, you know, like a tanning oil. But yeah, as I was saying, I need to get a new one of these because this one's just like, what do you call it, molting all over. I'm genuinely, like so far, I'm super impressed by all this Primark stuff. Even this bronzer, I feel like it's a lot softer and easier to build up. You know what, this is like my type of, like if I was going, not if I was going out like clubbing or anything, but my type of everyday, like if I was going shopping or something, I would definitely wear this and I would use these products. Oh, I love that. I'm so, you know what? I'm actually like happy about how this has turned out because I've heard like mixed reviews on the bronze whip. I've heard some people thought it was too orange, but for four pounds, rather than paying like I think it's thirty six pounds for the Chanel one, I'm I'm loving it. And just for every day, like if you work every day and don't want to like go through the Chanel one, I think this is perfect really do so i'm going to go over the top of it with the sunset glow ps bronzer so i'm going in with the sunset glow ps bronzer which was two pounds fifty it looks like this i'm going to go into this with my mac big brush and i'm just going to go over the top of where i place the, uh, the bronzer uh, the, the cream bronzer oh that is very pigmented I'm going to have to sort that out. I 
think this is a bit too dark for me, this sunset bronzer. I think this would be better for medium skin tones. And I've definitely applied a bit too much. I've gone in with a heavy hand, but we will sort this out. I'm just going to try and use my beauty blender to soften that a bit. I don't know why, but I'm super impressed. It's really, really good for like how much it is, and like there's barely any blend and patchiness. The shimmer it looks amazing. The mascara, the bronze wick, like I don't know why I'm so impressed. Like I was expecting something bad. So this I said, if you watched my haul, I wasn't like over the moon with. I wish I would have looked at it. But I'm going to try and use this with the PS by invitation only. I'm going to try and use these two together um, over the top of each other just to see how they look. Because I really want to test everything out. So I'm just going to go into this with my MAC stippling brush. And I'm going to go... So this is what the invitation only one looks like. And then this is what the dreamy shimmer looks like so i'm just going to apply the dreamy shimmer which is this one onto my cheeks oh yeah this is definitely it's lovely but it's definitely like a blush topper i don't know if you can see that on camera but you know what it is really nice for a blush topper and then i'm going to go into because i said this is a highlighter so I'm going to go into my Morphe 510 brush and I'm just going to go into, because I think that wouldn't be too dark for me, so I'm just going to go into these two and obviously apply that on the highs of my cheek. You know what? That looks stunning. I feel like I'm, like on holiday I've really warmed up my skin. I'm really impressed. And then um, I'm going to go and do my under eyes now. So I'm going to go into the second blending brush underneath my eye and I'm just going to go into that like orange shade mixed with the red so just these two underneath my eye I have no issue with this palette it's just so creamy and ah oh, I can't wait to like play around with it a bit more but I definitely think it's worth the six pounds and these for under, like, look at my bottom mashes, they look really good. I'm just blown away, I'm like really shocked. This matte lipstick trio, and I feel like I'm going to go and try some of these with some of the glosses. But, what colour? I think I'm going to go into this first shade, because I think that'll go best with this look. So it looks like this. So this is how that looks. And you know what? I do quite enjoy this lip with the eye look that I've created. And then I'm going to go into the lip glosses. And I'm, I'm going to go apply either this multi-chrome one or this baby pink one. Probably the multi-chrome one now that I'm looking at it a bit more. So I'm going into, so I'm going into this one. And I'm just going to apply this over the top just to see how it looks. It's just a simple gloss, which you don't really want much more. Just over the top. I'm, you know what? A big thumbs up from me for this Primark makeup because I'm super impressed. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and the look I've created. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what product you liked the look of on me the most or what product you might go out and buy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.